right turns, you're just going wide. That's, and it's not even, it's not too bad. Just take it slow. God, what a beautiful morning. Really get, you bring your sunnies? Do you want to go get them? I got an extra pair if you need them. <sighs> yeah, if you get an extra pair, or I'll get some gas. Day. God, look at the, got you, dog. Teamwork makes a dream. I right? know it's early for you. Yeah. I know I got to look out for you. I see you balling, dog. I see you. I, man, coach is fucking me, man. No, I see you balling. Come on. What? How many miles has this thing got on it? Oh, God. 277,000 plus. Jesus. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of miles. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going south. We're going We're going out there. Parts unknown. Parts unknown. Have you ever been in New Mexico? No. I have not either. We're starting in Denver because we had to come in and, and just do a quick pulse check on the big guy. Make sure he's, <laughs> he's liking his new digs. Love the area you're living in. Hip. Good. Eclectic. Uh, Denver has been really, really good. You know, seeing the sights, I joined the Denver Botanical Gardens, which was... There's a membership? Yeah, uh, annual member. I gotta get up into the hills, so this is a good trip. Get me out into nature. Yeah. Yeah, Hopefully like I feel like normally me for the rest of the you summer. would go west, straight into the hills. Yeah. But we're zagging, we're going south. No, there's the house that uh, Terrell Buckley built, T-Buck. Loose plan, Pueblo, and then up into the uh, up into the hills of southern Colorado and northern New Mexico. The Nuki boys are gonna head to Los Alamos. <laughs> Maybe exercise the nuclear option over there in the money round. And then uh, from there, it's kind of a toss up between Taos and Albuquerque. The simple answer is we have nothing lined up right now for golf. Um, I think the rough plan was to find a course that looks strapped. Uh, Around Pueblo, Mike's like it's a great shot. It looks awesome. Talk to me about the uh, the rental car this week. The rental car is not part of the five hundred dollars, so we may have found a little bit of a loophole here. So we decided to combine our lodging and rental car, kind of know the expense up front. I, I think we we are starting out farther ahead of the budget than we ever have. Are you, are you a big camper? No. <laughs> I'm what you might call a, more of a city slicker. I'm just, I think you have a little bit of a, a lust for the, the vagrant life, the vagabond life. I'm gonna start calling you Alexander Super Tramp. Just, I, I need just a little taste of it, just a little bit. And you just want to parachute in? Yeah. That's but then, fine. but then yeah. the second it gets uncomfortable, I want to, I want to be extracted. We have to get out of the van before it stops raining. What's your biggest concern this week? Well, it, it turned out it could have been unfounded, but someone told me it was the beginning of tarantula migration season. Uh, I'm not a big spider guy, so camping with that kind of shit, maybe, you know, then you start imagining something's crawling on you. Maybe the producer suite's outside. Maybe Kristoff needs the outside suite. Yeah, you, oh, dude, I love camping, you know, from, <laughs> I'm just outside Chicago. Let's get the flies out in the wilderness. Uh, let's there. get them like, uncomfortable. No, I'm a man of the, like, farmland. Yeah. yeah. Those are uh, pussies, you don't ever camp, it'll be look fun. Look at me, I'm setting up a tent. Yeah, we'll put him outside. <laughs> Yo, grab a, yeah, grab a couple for the next couple mornings. On the record, we got a couple of coffees and a lighter. Yeah, two coffees and a lighter. Off the record, three creamers for the big guy, and I think three packs of ketchup and three packs of uh, mustard. That's it. I mean, I didn't want to like. I asked you if you wanted me to grab some, and you said that would be enough. I mean, I don't need that much ketchup. Do you? Were you just grabbing for yourself? No, like oh. three of them. Okay. I mean, how many, like... I guess we'll make it work. Yeah, I guess we'll make it work. Sorry, I don't like fucking stealing. Who says you're not putting that in your coffee? True, but you, ketchup is like crazy scarce right now. Oh, really? Yeah, because of the supply chain issues. Choke points, man. All right, Randy, first stop, Pueblo. Figured a, a little Wikipedia sesh would do us good. Founded by some trappers back in the day in 1842. Um... The original trap stars. Yeah, yeah, railroads, classic, stealing land from the Indians, classic. I know, one thing I know is that that's where the Supermax <laughs> penitentiary Some is. bad boys in there. Yeah. Some real bad boys. I think boys. Kaczynski and the Shoe Bomber. ADX, that's, yeah, that's the one. You know, I'd like to say to the Shoe Bomber, you know, screw you, man. How annoying is it to take off your shoes every time you go through airport security now? Robert Hansen. 
really? The former FBI guy that was a, was a spy. He's in, in ADX. Harry Rourke, one of the founders of the Dead Men Incorporated prison gang. Okay, that guy seems like he's not a, a <laughs> bundle of fun. Let's stay away from him. I don't know him. Larry Hoover. Oh, Big Meech is Big in there. Big Meech. Oh, serving oh, six life sentences. Shit. He was moving some serious weight. Yeah. God, we got to go see Big Meech. I think he was deep in it with Noriega down, down in Central America. Yeah. Oh, fucking El Chapo's in ADX. Come on. Yeah. Look, have you ever seen hills this big? No. You think that's a 14? A 14? I bet that's a 14er. You think so? Per our earlier conversation, there's a golf course directly across the street from ADX. Looks like a, it's a Gary Player design. It's actually on Gary Player Drive, which I think Gary Player might belong in ADX, <laughs> honestly. But that's a different conversation. His, his kid, Wayne, for sure. Yes, yeah, so then Wayne should be in ADX. Get that guy in a Supermax. What a bad dude. <laughs> Let's talk grocery list. Yeah. I think that's where we got to keep it between the mayo and mustard. Of course. And they're cheap. Or like veggie, like do we want to get- like cheap Do we want to grill veggies? If we do if we do burgers, we get some peppers. The peppers. Why don't you grab a cart? Because a basket's going to keep us honest. You always try to fill a cart up. You know, it's human nature, so this is good. I think we get 12 of them. Where the cart come from? Listen, the water was heavy. Uh, are you? I'm good to the last drop. Right? I am too. I'm really good to the last drop. Probably more than we need, though. Randy, I, I might have the hack of the cinch. Have you ever heard of goober? What do you think? Sure. I think get I that think plus peanut another peanut butter, butter, maybe. That's what I was gonna say. I think you're gonna want peanut butter. Okay, so then we just don't get the jelly. Yeah. Okay. I like that. If you want a little jelly, scoop it out of there. Ah, uh, we did really well. Um, Neil and I's share of the budget for all of this stuff is going to be $82 and a couple cents. Plus our guy Andre uh, let us use a Safeway rewards card which saved us $8. That ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Shout out Andre. Over there in these, these, these mountains over here in these hills, that's NORAD. U.S. Missile Defense, baby. If anybody's launching ballistic shit at us, they're gonna know about it. Is the Space Force bucking its head yet? I think that's where they're headquartered right there. You think they know you think they know uh, the big red miss is coming? <laughs> it's gonna yeah, that radar is definitely gonna pick up a couple of my drives this week. I just realized we don't have a tea time. No, we don't. And it looks busy. God, it's popping out here, though. God, this looks like a great vibe. What's what's the update? Uh, this place looks cool. It's very popular down here. It's like a quarter till 10 in the morning. They don't have any tea times till at least 1 p.m., which kind of throws us off our travel schedule. Hello, Chris. Hello, Mr. Chris. Hello, Mr. Big. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you guys? Good. That's a that's a big chair. Are you in your in. office? I'm in my office. I'm doing work. What are you guys doing? Uh, we're out here trying to play golf. Yeah, we didn't get a tee time, and they don't have any tee times. So uh, that seems like something you could have probably played in advance. Yeah, but we got another auction. We're gonna go, we're gonna go over to Walking Stick. But it sounds like this Walking Stick place is, I think, where the players play. Uh, number ten on top seventy five. Most affordable golf courses in the U.S. in 1996. <laughs> can't take that away from him. Well, I can't think much has changed in the last 25 years. I know. I can't quite tell where, where you guys are, but I, I did. I can take a guess. I heard about your vehicle for the week. What, what can you guys tell me about it? By the letter of the law, we are within the guidelines. We are within the rules of strapped. You don't like the law? Call your congressman That's right. or congresswoman. We got to come up with a name. Uh, well, we've named it Big Meech. You know, the rental car is always covered and it's tough to get rental cars these days. As you, you know, know you as know you that. know. You know that. And I think the C-suite would, will have nothing but respect for our financial engineering. I cannot imagine they'll have any problems with the decisions that we've made. I, I give you guys a lot of credit for just habitual, habitually 
testing the limits of the very simple rules of this series. Like we're making sacrifices over here. Like yeah, you know, I'm gonna sacrifices. be we're gonna be big guy's gonna be stinking and snoring this joint up. Tell about the tarantulas. And, and it's, it's and tarantula apparently season. it's tarantula migration season. In New Mexico. The budget you know inflation, it's at like a however year high we, and the budget stays the same you saw the we cpi last this. month yeah we can't do this i mean ketchup is I, it's scarce out here i also watched you guys take a hundred dollars of your budget into a casino and gamble with well, it. That well that was that that, that that was i mean we were that, that was like a 50 50 shot we get more budget. we were though. trying to we were trying to maybe cut cut a corner there all right well i'm, I'm glad you know i feel better i feel like we're we, yeah. we've been transparent and uh you know, how, how does that make you feel better? I just flat out said I was not cool. No, it's communication. No, 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 no. We're, you know, we've communicated. I, I feel like it. I've been open and honest yeah. about, you yeah, know, yeah. yeah, we found a loophole. So that's, that's. You, you don't like it? We got to close the loopholes. That's it. This is such a slippery slope. Smell it. I mean, yeah, I actually feel pretty good. good. Usually I'm ready to say, yeah. fuck those guys. No, I, but thought, I, mean, thought those I mean, obviously, guys. like, you know, nobody likes a loophole. You do this long enough, you got to think you, you, the uh, the adversary is going to get a little smarter. <laughs> of course. Right? Like, the, yeah, the, the yeoman starts learning. to figure yeah, it out exactly. a little bit. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, I feel good. Should we get a walking stick? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's, let's. I'm bummed to leave this boat. I am so bummed. Onward. Awesome. <laughs> Onward. Oh, sorry guys. Big Meech is grumbling. All right, I think it left up here. I mean, the other Elm would look great, but I don't know if it's wait, worth waiting three hours for. Sure. Right? Like we're here to we're here to explore golf. That golf wasn't open, so we the strap boys got to take the next best thing, which I think is walking stick. Over the Gary Player Supermax. Yeah, we can't support that bullshit. We don't want to, you know, we don't want to celebrate criminals. If we play there, it's almost like we're aiding and abetting. I know, a little bit. All right, well, let's 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 do it then. Yep, we got 35 minutes. God, that goober saved me all kinds of time, huh? <laughs> Seems like an answer to a question. I'm not sure who was asking. Honestly, I'm a little nervous. It looks like a lot of places you can lose a golf ball. We might be taking something less than driver. Love it. We'll take that one, won't we? Big Meech and Larry Hoover. Right. Come on. Yep. Uh, all right, top sink. <sighs> Those are good ones. Parking lot, walking stick. Uh, all right, boys. Debrief. What's gonna What's gonna stick with you most about that place? Oh, uh, oh shit! There's some big ass ants down here. Hold on. Those are like the man-eating ones. Some weird shit in the desert. It's just a good golf course, you know. I. It, it's just like proper, and we caught it in excellent condition. It feels like proper modern golf, just with like the housing development. This is, a, it feels like it's, I don't want to say at its ceiling, but that place is in great shape. Mm -hmm. And it's the best version of itself right now. Yeah, yeah. Right, and the pace was great. Um, seems like all the, this, oh, maybe this is men's league here. Oh, all our hitters rolling in. How about this guy? Party boy. <laughs> What's up? It's not like there's much more it could do. The land is, other than the main Bronson Arroyo, not super, you know, it's pretty flat on the back, not super engaging. Mm -hmm. um, but the greens are in great shape. Some visual tricks too, with, with some reeds and grown up like scruff. Uh, doesn't give you just like a clean, easy look at some of the holes. Work, work for them. Work. Oh, stay up. God, we're fighting to keep that club face open. It's like I'm so far down and inside, and instead of like smothering it from that position, I'm yeah. trying to like hold on. Oh, 
Oh, that's bad. They do a very provocative way up there. And the lathe the starter told us watch out for rattlesnakes in the weeds. I want to say something about the rattlesnakes though. I do appreciate that they warn you that they're there. You know, they give you a little maraca. Like, yo, I'm here. Don't, you shouldn't come over here because I will bite you and I will kill you. Gotta hate snakes. But there's not a lot of apex predators or predators that tell you, yo, look, dude, I'm like right here. Shit, I hear one, you know? That's, I thought, I think that's an interesting thing. Is it an apex predator though? Well, it's probably the top of the snake food chain. I mean, I guess hawks are the apex because they eat, they'll eat a rattlesnake, but they're a predator and, and a pretty fierce one. Yeah, I mean, sure, take down sure. a big guy like you pretty of easily. Of course, of course. There's a big homie in there, I think. Really? Here in the rattler. Competing brand. We got it. It literally was on its deathbed there for a little bit, but we've brought the patient back oh, to life. Right, yeah. Knuckle ball. Big hop. Oh yeah! Look at that. <laughs> Come on! That was the hop of the year. Hell yeah. Wow, <laughs> let's take that. What a fighting for. Fuck these rattlers. God, it's good. Good shit. That's a team four there. That is. My scouter, forward scout right here. Yeah. How would uh, each of you assess your play? I'd say sustainable for me. Feels very sustainable. You're just laying in wait. You, I think you've played a very patient nine holes. I'm running the shot clock down, flex offense. Exactly, you're is, fine, you're yeah. fine. You're controlling the tempo yeah. of this round. It's like those goal. old uh, Wisconsin basketball teams. Yeah. 25 to 28 at halftime. I'm down three, but we feel great. We're but you feel team. good because the other team's used to playing at a much higher tempo. Yeah. They're, you know. You're you, focused. You got them right where you want them. Oh, that stinks. Uh, Randy, I think you're, you, I, I almost, I'm seeing a little bit of the front nine at Bandon Dunes. Yeah. Before you threw yeah. that golf club. Yeah. Yep. You know, we're, like, I'm hoping we're approaching the bottom of the. the yeah. The, but I think you're gonna find a feel like you just hit a good one. I feel yeah. it's like oh that Perfect. one felt good. Really Thanks. good. Thanks. That swing felt pretty good. Yeah. No, I'm excited. That but one felt good. There's a lot of golf left this trip. There is so much time to find a feel. So that's what we're gonna do on the back nine. I just I gotta have you on this level. Yeah. So like, I don't care if you're right here, that's a sh pretty straight putt in. Yep. Yep. Oh my God, Randy, that's so good. The pins today. Pins were hard. Uh, yeah, that was a little scummy. Maybe it's men's league tonight or something. Two tiers to almost every green. Um, so the and yardage and where there wasn't a tier, there was like a spine in the middle of it or a little mound. So I had some interesting putts. Right at it. Best of the day. Yeah. I mean, they're tucking the pins, man. I know, dude. In the corners. Did they get wind that we were coming out? <sighs> Maybe. They didn't want to get. They didn't want to get rocked with a mega bonus. Nobody wants that. Yeah. You donkey. Ah. That's the ball. Come on, fall. Hey. Hey, that's a four. Good one. Thanks. Uh, what's gonna stick with me? The rough cut, the way they cut the rough. The way every hole kind of had those, uh, the rough would cut in like a peninsula. Or mm -hmm. at, at times almost felt like an isthmus, just cutting across. And I thought the way that they cut the fairways made it, made kind of boring land a lot more interesting. So then later in the round, I was like, okay, what's that rough doing? I'm, I start, finally started paying attention to where the rough was cutting in and can I, Hit driver here, or am I gonna get stuck on a side hill lie? Concern is shifting to golf ball supply. Got it? Okay. Stay there, don't move yet. Brother. I heard some heard some rattling over there. Right here.
feel like a lot of these people are like fucking crypto day traders. No, no, this feels more retirement to me. That bunker short left, you said? Shit. Hole 18, six handicap, par four, 369. Nice. Uh, sponsored by Experienced and Professional Water Resources Consulting. Water well wizards. Do a lot of flow testing, water quality, potability, data analysis, all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna fucking hit driver. You know why? Because I'm the kid. Thought about that. Let, you know what I'm looking really looking forward to? Getting in this van and going to a campsite. Yeah, maybe cracking a bank with beer. Maybe cracking a bank oh, with boy. beer with a you know, with a view. It gets that he'll get so severe. There's no I mean there's no way. Oh man. God, yours went right? Man, Dude. I threw up the fall line, huh? Darn it. But we hit 18 cups, didn't we? We did. Good plan, bro. Always a pleasure. Good start. I Let's think, go I think one. Good start to the trip. There's a lot to see on film there. Yeah. You know, we kind of... We played they a won, good they game. They went on like a 10-2 run, yeah, like mid-second half, and we just... Of course. You know, couldn't, didn't have the firepower to bring it back from that. But the seniors got to play today, you know, in front of the home fans. It was a good effort. Nothing to hang our heads about. And we got the, you know, regional tournament coming up, so just got to get back and do a little practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just got to get back in the gym. Keep working on we'll us. We'll see those guys again in the, in the region final, I'm sure. All right, let's get this van fired up. Let's go. I'm stiff. Oh, shit. I was standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day when I saw the hearse come rolling oh to carry my mother The circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. You think Big Beach has got this? <laughs> I sure hope so. We're gonna tell you slow and steady. Big Beach has seen a lot. No doubt. Please drive slow. Push Come on, baby. Big Beach! He's doing me all he's Come got. on, baby! Come on! Let's go, Big Beach! You can do it! 11 bucks for lodging. That's right. I feel like we're coming out ahead there. Straight boys, nine seasons are finally hitting their stride. <laughs> that looks like a New York apartment. Come on. <laughs> Not enough space for Randy. No, Randy probably be hanging over. <laughs> Probably he want, probably wants me on the bottom. I mean, I'll let him test it out. Look at the view. And we got views, man. We got views for days. Jesus. You guys gonna help me set up my tent? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Let's do it now. And the kids are getting hungry too. Should we get dinner going? Sure. There's a better 